on the Bluff, Southern University is launching initiatives to develop future leaders in natural resource management. Over $1 million in USDA capacity building grants to create a workforce to support that industry. Kayla Gaston has more. We want to bring students from potential to promise. That's Dr. Christopher Chappelle, assistant professor of urban forestry in the SU College of Agriculture. He's talking about a new program at Southern starting this fall, EcoLeaders. Over $200,000 from the Department of Agriculture will be used to help candidates handle environmental challenges. This is to tackle global climate change and the workforce needs. Because right now, as you experience in not even the height of summer, that we have a heat index of upwards of 113 degrees. He also says both high school and college students will tackle issues on the local and national level through tours. The ones that's out of state will meet with industry partners as well as other universities. And for those um, on the local level, we'll meet with agencies uh, across the state. In addition, the Jagatory Youth STEAM Mobile Lab project also received funding. This will provide ages K through 12 with educational and career opportunities. Why is this important to the community? This is important to the community because we are focusing on underserved rural areas that may not be able to come to us. So we're going to them to provide them with these services. Dr. Charity Schaefer says the mobile app will travel to various communities across Louisiana, offering hands-on activities and interactive sessions that not only educate, but also inspire the next generation of agricultural professionals. So we plan to build this program up from just drone certification to where we are using drone to help our farmers to either dust their crops with pesticides or biological control agents or even cattle tagging. The initiatives underscore Southern University's commitment to creating a diverse and skilled workforce that can meet future demands. Kayla Gaston, Fox 44 News.